Hi, welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I created this pencil to the brain look, then keep on watching. It's actually really easy, so let's give it a go. Okay, so you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, use what you've got. Um, a pen, a straw, um, like a stick from the garden. Clean it, obviously. Anything like that, you can do this with. Um, a couple of years ago, I had my husband unscrew the plastic part of a steak knife off and I used that so it looks like a steak knife was coming out of my head it doesn't have to be on your head it can be on other parts of your body but generally like the head's like the easiest place to put it it's like most noticeable plus your head doesn't really move or come into contact with other things like if you put it on say your chest and you go to give someone a hug it's gonna get knocked off or whatever uh limbs it's just kind of a bit iffy so whatever it is that you want sticking out of your head. You're going to need some toilet roll, white toilet roll or skin toned toilet roll. Um, if you can get one close to your skin tone, perfect. You're going to need a foundation or a concealer that matches your skin tone. You're going to need liquid latex. If you don't have this and you've got lash glue that you don't mind like, wasting, use that. And you're going to need some um fake blood if you don't have fake blood you can make it um or you can use red face paint it doesn't quite give the same effect as blood this one i don't even know where this is from probably from like um ham shop or something uh i think that's it you can use like lipstick and stuff but whatever so you're going to take your pencil and you're going to snap it in half or about that, which ow, literally just snap it. You can keep that because it still works, it's fine. And then take some, then take some scissors and you're going to try and neatly cut like the sharp edges off. Do this over a bin or a sink. And then you're going to want to try and flatten usually one like part comes off like this you're going to want to try and create an angle so that it can sit flat against your head so i'm literally just cutting you can also uh use like a nail file um if you want to get like super smooth so i'm just really slowly grating this away until it's smooth. Let's have a look. So when you lay it flat, you want it to kind of the flat edge to sit nicely against your skin and have a good, um, like you want it to lay nicely on your skin. You also want the edge as thin as you can get it really okay so as you can see I've shaved quite a bit down the end that is gonna be the uh, like insertion point is thinner than the rest it's about half the thickness of the rest of the pencil so you're gonna take a square of toilet roll like this and you're gonna rip it into rough squares you don't have to be massive but big enough for like the wound i wouldn't cut this because you don't want it to be perfect edges so you should have a pile of little teared pieces just like that okay so you're gonna want to make sure an area slightly bigger than what you're expecting to need is clear of any product you want it clean dry oil free no skincare nothing like that so we are going to build up on the pencil itself um first 
it makes things just a lot easier. I am going to take a random patch of toilet roll. I am going to ball it up and dunk it directly into the um, liquid latex. It's going to get gunky and weird looking and it's going to soak up a lot of that liquid latex. You can kind of wring it out on the side of the dish. And then you're going to mould this around the front of your uh, pencil and you're going to want to kind of smooth it out and down the pencil. You can pick off like, the excess up here and you're going to want to make it kind of rough and gunky um you want it textured you do not want it to be perfect like that you want to extend the top so that it looks smoother to your face and not add too much bulk i'm then going to take one of my very sticky fingers take some more toilet roll and we're gonna start to smooth out the bottom edge because you don't want any splinters in your head I'm literally just dunking my finger into the um the liquid latex and i'm just patting that to wet it okay so you've got something like this i'm then going to take it and dunk it into my liquid latex so that it is all nice and saturated just like this and then again i'm going to start to mold it i'm going to take my finger and i'm running quite a nice chunk of that um it's almost like a paste down the back of the pencil and then i'm taking another square and i'm rolling it into a sausage and i'm sticking it to the back of the pencil okay so you should have something like this i'm then going to take my liquid latex and i'm going to drop some over the sausage so that it can start to get sticky. Now this is your internal support for the, um, for when it's actually stuck to your head. Okay, I'm gonna prop it down, but so that none of that is actually touching anything. And they're gonna peel off whatever is on my fingers because there will be some and it will be gross and gunky and sticky. Once you're sufficiently degunked, we're gonna add some more of the liquid latex into your little dish. Again, taking my finger, I'm gonna dump it into the liquid latex and put a nice old blob onto that cleaned area and then I'm going to take some tissue and stick it right on top and you're going to want to try and stick this down to your head you still want it to be textured so stick it down but let texture build don't feel like you need to smooth it out too much. I'm gonna take my finger again, dunk it in, and we're gonna wet that entire area. Again, it will get sticky and awkward. It's fine. It's almost a good thing. So you're gonna wanna stick all the edges down and you want it to be flat to your head. like that and then gonna take another 
I'm taking another square of the kitchen, the toilet roll, and plop that directly on top. And again, I'm not trying to be like super precise. I just kind of want to get it on there. So wet it again. And I'm letting it pick up the toilet roll with my sticky finger so that it can build texture. Okay, degonk again. And then we're gonna take your sticky toilet roll dunk it into the pot with the, um, the liquid latex and we're gonna lay it down flat against your head you want as much of the pencil touching your head as possible and that sausage on the back of the pencil you want that like on your face you want it flat against the skin that's going to create more of a structure and you're going to want to sit and hold this for a good couple of minutes. Make sure none of the liquid latex gets in your hair too because it's not fun to get out. So I'm literally just going to sit like this for a couple of minutes. It has dried quite a lot but I still don't feel too comfortable like sitting up normally. I'm using gravity as my friend. I'm going to take some more tissue. So I'm gonna lay it directly over the top. And again, we are building structure with this. So I'm gonna pop it down. I'm using any of the still wet, um, liquid latex as a glue and I just want to make sure to start building up the structure. Any areas you don't like you can just kind of peel off and just fix that bit of makeup later. More tissue and I'm gonna pop this on and then oh, I'm taking my liquid latex directly from the tube now please be careful I'm going to pop a little bit of this on because it's not going to stick to itself so I'm going to stick this on and I'm going to wet this so that I can start to stick it down. Now this trickling down, I'm not going to stop it because I'm going to use that as a blood drip. Just don't let it get in your eyes. Now we're going to build the area where it looks like the pencil is going in. So more tissue, we're going to ball it up into like a sausage shape and we're gonna build up this area so you want to follow the line of the pencil so make that sausage and then take a section of the tissue paper lay it over the top and you should be able to smooth out any bumps or anything like that And you're just going to keep going until you are happy with how it looks. Just add in more toilet roll and liquid latex. Now I'm using the back of this makeup brush to smooth out around the pencil itself. And I can add extra texture in later. Now I want my pencil to sit like more on an angle off my skin so I'm just going to take a small ball of tissue 
dunk it in the liquid latex and I'm gonna prop it underneath the pencil like that and use the end of the brush to hammer it in there a little bit and again this is going to add to the structure I'm now going to take the end of that brush into the liquid latex and make sure that the full thing is covered in liquid latex. This is going to give it a sealant, it's going to dry and then you can put your makeup on top. I'm going to let this completely dry and then I'll be back. Okay so this is now dry, it's been two or three minutes it's not long you can take a hair dryer on the cool setting and blow drying it to make it set faster you're now going to want to take your foundation now i do recommend taking a foundation that is a shade darker if you are using toilet roll that is white and take it on your finger and you want to tap over now again it's not going to match perfectly that's fine. I'm now taking a small stippling brush. If you don't have one of these, use an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to really make sure that I am in those little nooks and crannies, like underneath the brush and fix up any areas where my foundation has been removed. And you can even use it to stipple over the top to create more texture i'm going to take a little bit of powder for me i am using a powder foundation mixed with translucent and i'm going to powder over the top quite heavily okay now this is where the fun comes in you can use um eyeshadows or um liquid eyeliner i'm gonna use a liquid lipstick this is actually a really dark one this is maybelline super stay matte i have no idea what color this is but it's like a really dark maroon i'm going to take a little pencil brush and pop some of this on the top and this is where we're going to create depth before we add the um the blood so that where you want like the impact and the darkness you want to add this any kind of dark um liquid product would work perfectly you want like a dark maroon or blood color you want to really get that in like around the wound on the top of the wound basically in the very center of everything that you you're doing i'm gonna clean that off and then we're going in with the blood i'm gonna unscrew the cap and this blood is quite thick and coagulated so i'm gonna dunk my brush in and scoop it out and I'm going to add this right on that impact area and this is all gross and gooey and blood clots this is exactly my kind of thing if you don't have this exact blood it's fine use like Miron coagulated blood um scab blood is great for this but i am literally i'm using it to stain where i want to be bloody 
I'm adding the coagulated blood. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the lid, a lid, any lid. Uh, we're going to squeeze out some of this coagulated blood I love coagulated blood so I can show you the true texture of this it is thick and gunky and exactly what you would expect to see on an injury like this I'm going to add a couple of drops of water to this blood if you don't want to do this you can just get like the cheap um, blood from like pack supply shops the supermarket wherever so I'm just adding water and mixing that in it to the blood to create um, a more liquid blood so I've mixed it and I've got this more like runny blood and we're gonna bash this on too and i'm gonna gloop it on so that it can start to drip and just look disgusting picking up mounds of it and we're gonna drop it on and i want it to drip Now, very carefully, I'm literally using a pipette. I'm going to add a drop at a time and let it work through. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna start getting it to drip. This is when it becomes more realistic because water moves in a way that you're not going to be able to replicate now do be careful that it doesn't go into your eye you want to be careful after all I'm just letting that water naturally flow because I mean that's what blood's gonna do I'm literally taking a con bud and I'm letting this kind of making it wanna wiggle around a little bit manipulate it however I want it to go I like to let my blood just do its thing to be honest I'm gonna gunk it up right in underneath where that pencil sits that is where the gunkiest scabbiest blood's gonna be okay so you can build up your blood as much as you want you can water it down you can thin it out you can um you can add extra bits like awesome you can also take um steri strips and add them on top i've done that a couple of times um but yeah like i love this kind of like gross thing going on <laughs> you can you can really customize it however you want so like now i'm gonna add some more water i'm gonna tilt my head and let the water 
kind of go slightly different and let it drift down my face because I mean you're getting the pencil stuck in your head you're not just going to still are you so I've worked like a little bit trickle down here it's down this side let's go a little bit more okay so I think that's it <laughs> what do you think do you want to see more of these kind of videos I think next is going to be like a cut or a um, like a scab of some sort or a burn um let me know what you want to see um and i'll do it i hope you liked please subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below bye